Okay, in this video I'm going to put some thoughts into choosing a VPN to watch British TV. Now, as you probably all know, um, you can't watch, although you can watch most of British TV online, BBC iPlayer, ITVX, etc. Um, there's a problem when you're outside the UK. And the problem is, it won't let you watch it. Um, if we go to um, BBC iPlayer here and stream something, just this is kin this is a some sort of drama you'll get this message bbc iplayer only works in the uk uh same goes for itvx you'll get a different message with itvx let's just have a look we go to itvx and stream what well, stream red eye it's a new thriller and we try and watch that you'll get this error code 0101 typically uh, basically, it's looked up your IP address, and if it's not in the UK, that's what happens. Um, I can just show you briefly. This is a site called gps-coordinates.org, you can see up there, which basically does what ITVX and um, <coughs> BBC iPlayer and all the other media sites do. Uh, it just looks up your IP address when you connect to the website, and then geolocates it to wherever country it's registered and that's how it spots your location nothing that fancy but of course you can bypass this you can't change your ip address that's assigned directly when you um connect to the internet and unless you own an isp you're not going to be able to change that at all but what you can do is use a vpn to um hide your ip address so a vpn works basically in the way it creates an encrypted tunnel from your device so from your smartphone, your laptop, tablet, whatever, to a VPN server, uh, which is encrypted and keeps all your personal details um, secure. But the, the great thing about it is that it actually hides your IP address. And I'm going to show you how that works now. Okay, so the uh, VPN I use is called NordVPN. Let me just load it up here. Um, so why did I choose this VPN? Well, a lot of reasons, really, but... There's one mega important one that overrides all of those, and that's that it works reliably with ITVX and BBC iPlayer. It works with the other UK TV sites as well, but those are the two I generally use. <coughs> and basically, that sets it out from 90% of the other VPN services. There's, there's dozens of really good VPN services, but they don't all work with... Um, BBC iPlayer primarily um, because BBC iPlayer about three years ago went on a big purge and blocked nearly every single VPN service. They do it in two ways. Um, let me just minimize this and I can show you one of the main ways it um, blocks access and that's concurrent connections and that sounds a bit fancy but it's basically saying what the the, the network infrastructure of those media streaming sites looks out for lots and lots and lots and lots of people all streaming to the same IP address because if they do see that, it's almost certainly a proxy server or a VPN. And they can enable blocks on those almost automatically. So if they see 2,000 people streaming match of the day to a single IP address, <coughs> it's going to be a VPN server. They block it. What NordVPN have done is... Instead of trying to get access to all their servers, they've taken about, I think it's about 30 to 40 servers. And what they do is they try and maintain the number of connections on each servers and rotate the IP addresses to keep um, NordVPN under the radar. And it works pretty well. So in order to use NordVPN and BBC iPlayer, it's best to use one of these servers. So let me just, uh, let's remember a number, 1840. And let's go back to NordVPN. And now NordVPN, basically, you would um, browse and just click on the country and it would assign you the um, the fastest server in the country you want. So you know, scroll out there. So they're all over the place, really. But if you want to watch BBC iPlayer, I suggest you just pick one of those in the description below. Um, this is only if you're using NordVPN. Uh, other VPN services might have different methods. You connect to that one, and that's a BBC optimized server. Okay. <clears throat> now, it's not 100% guarantee it'll work, but it nearly always does one of those servers, whereas it's probably slightly less 10, 20% success with the others. 
Uh, depends if it's been blocked or located. Okay, and let's just minimize that. And let's go and see how this works. Now I'm going into Firefox here. I, I know I opened Chrome before. This is because because I've accessed these sites um, from a foreign IP address outside the UK. Um, the cookies will catch me out until I clear those and re restart the browser. So I'm just going to go into Firefox here uh, just to demonstrate. Uh, it's quite a good tech technique really is to have two browsers and just use one for... Uh, UK services and one for your normal browsing wherever you're located. Uh, okay, so I'm going to go to BBC iPlayer. What did we try and watch? Match of the day. Let's just go here. And let's just stream match of the day, hopefully. And you can see now it's streaming. It's using the NordVPN 1840 server or whatever it was. And I'm going to stop that because I get a copyright strike if I stream too much. And that's working perfectly. So that's match of the day streaming on my uh, laptop through a NordVPN server. Let's quickly try ITVX. Oh, there we go. And again, this is using the NordVPN connection. So it's seeing the IP address of the VPN server. The beast must die. That sounds good. Let's just send... Now, you sometimes get that the first time you watch it, but let's just restart that. But it should work the second with ITVX. There we go. And here it works. So, yeah, we briefly got the error message Agent there, but um, again, cookies and probably. Is the only one and there we can see. Now we're going to get adverts there because I'm using the cheaper version of ITVX, which is pretty good anyway. It's um, You just get a few adverts, as you would on ITV's... Um, commercial channel on the TV. Uh, you can upgrade to premium if you want, but I've never really bothered. Uh, so that's it, really. That's why I choose um, NordVPN. Now, it would be remiss of me to, to point out there are other um, VPN services that work with BBC iPlayer. Typically, they're the more expensive ones because they don't have as many users um, and they don't get blocked automatically. So if you're going for a sort of premium um, VPN service that's not in the mainstream, you're probably all right. I mean, ask them. Ask them about it. Uh, if you've got an ex more expensive VPN service and you, you want for security reasons or whatever, um, ask them if it works with BBC iPlayer. Or you can reserve your own IP address on any of these um, VPN services. Again, the cost goes up. <clears throat> that's pretty much a guarantee that uh, nobody else is going to be using it, obviously, and those will work. So there there are still options. I mean, I picked it as an inexpensive and um, uh, simple way to access BBC iPlayer, but there are other options. Okay, well, I'm hoping that's uh, helped. I'll finish the video there, and thank you very much for watching. It's my video on choosing a VPN to watch British TV. Okay, thanks very much. Bye-bye for now.